Hello, lovely people. I'm Sinead, and welcome to another Craft and Chat. Uh, this week, I did manage to get that vest finished that um, I was sewing on last week, and I would be wearing it except that um, we decided to have September summer, so this week's going to be a little warm for that. I also uh, am working on a pattern for this dress for the uh, smaller fashion crowd. Or is that the smaller fashion? The sixth scale, 11 inch fashion crowd. Uh, I believe Cindy is actually 10 and a half inches, but um, yeah, I believe it'll fit uh, Barbie and I'm working on one right now for um, to just double check changing the um, gauge of the yarn to see how it looks on Illy. And I also got the cat pattern all recorded. Um, the, the tutorial as well as the pictures I need for the pattern. And I played around with the Posca pin on our ginger cat. And I also decided on, there's a, there's this cat that is from a, a different pattern. I decided to include it in the cat pattern, um, in three sizes. Uh, this is the largest and, um, it's inspired by Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, there's a black one ar around here. <laughs> so I have more spooky season stuff that I need to get done. Um, I have finished some of it, but I need to make some ghosties. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna work on a little bit of that today is trying to make some ghosties using um, cotton uh, fiber from, well, pill bottles. Uh, I've been saving it. I, I often use it as stuffing and sometimes for other things. And today we're going to see if we can turn it into a ghost. I haven't actually done anything uh, like this since childhood. Um, taking cotton and using glue and um, creating a shape like an animal or, uh, well, anything really. And definitely never tried this by sticking it on a, on a wire. So that's new. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's turning out to be a little uh, awkward start. I assume that once this kind of sets up, it'll be easier to handle. So not very exciting part of this process. I am just trying to get a framework to work on. Um, basically an underlayer. And I know the more glue I add, the stiffer this is going to be. I don't know whether or not it's going to stick to the wire after doing all this. It might decide that, uh, it doesn't want to stay on the wire. <laughs> Set it down and I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's vibrating. Which means that as soon as I take away my hand, it'll fall over. So this might be all I get to accomplish today is just making little bits of cotton on a stick. <laughs> so you can see my uh, cat army up there in the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. I uh, spent most of yesterday working up the um, orange cats or ginger cats to um, uh, for the for the um, video for the tutorial and the pattern. And I was actually really struggling to remember to stop and take a still photograph. And, you know, you can usually pull stills from your video, but I can't guarantee it's going to be clear. Especially if, uh, you know, I turned it around to show the camera, but didn't hold it there long enough to get a clear picture in a still. Whereas as for the video, it works, but as a still, it doesn't. So we're having a little 
our little September summer. And uh, I think that has been happening pretty consistently for the last 10 years, which seems weird to look back on it and go, oh, wow, that that's a while. But then, you know, yesterday I was ruminating on the fact that in the spring, my oldest, Joey, will be 40. I'm only 58. And... I could have grown grandchildren had she had children. That It's the grown grandchildren that threw me for a loop. <laughs> Just going along, not thinking about it. Oh, by the way, you're a senior citizen. I really hadn't thought about it that way. Okay, we're good. <laughs> ay, ay, ay kind of know how my mother felt when she was 36 and became a grandma. Uh, my older brother got married to a woman who already had a child. Which, you know, didn't negate the fact that she started uh, younger than I did. So, <laughs> kind of, I made jokes about how we were going to break that curse and apparently I was really successful. And in uh, getting my kids to wait forever because <laughs> I don't have grandkids. But I don't think people should have kids just because society says, well, you're an adult now, you should have kids. No, I think that you should be mindful. If you want to become a parent, excellent. If you don't, excellent. Follow what feels right for you. Um, we we forget that uh, there's you have options, and we we try to get everybody in the same box, and it's it's not a good idea. It's not healthy. And I'm, I'm trying not to do this whole thing, but I'm I might not be succeeding here. Also, I just noticed that the camera may not be focusing in. So, I apologize. I would really love it if the camera was overhead and not a tripod sitting under my arm. <laughs> Although, I don't know, there'd probably be issues there too. All cottons are not created equal. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, they, they're not all exactly the same. I mean, like, some of them are much, much fluffier than others. So they're not uh, coming off in strips. Like, this one doesn't want to be in a strip. I had things that I was thinking about, talking about, and, of course, you know, you get into the motions, and they've all flown out of my head. Let's see, what happened besides the crafting? Well, I'm, I have been really successful in keeping the slugs out of my little flower garden. And it's, it's a daily, several times a day, go out there, check, and yeet them. <laughs> and uh, I have been rewarded with this uh, September or summer all the plants grew. They had been not really growing over the the milder weather, I guess, was just not what they wanted. That particular type of flowers were just not um, flourishing. And uh, so then we've gotten this warm snap um, that, again, it's only in the 70s. And... Uh, everybody grew, tripled in size, so, and produced flowers. That was nice. Let's see if we can turn this into a, no, it is definitely still moving around on there. Um, maybe if I wait longer, I don't know. I might end up having to hold... <laughs> I don't want to hold them and try and sculpt them. But 
it might be the solution. Uh, what else? Oh, I said um, I basically was trying to get uh, color references from those in the house that use makeup uh, because I, I just wanted to buy another um, lipstick, which I haven't had a good relationship with makeup because of allergies to most of the ingredients to the affordable, you know, the stuff you can find in the drugstore is is not friendly <laughs> to me. And so I, when I was younger, I would try and wear, you know, uh, Maybelline or CoverGirl and I would have this reaction. I used to joke that I'd put on my blush once a week and that's all it took. And I'd have red cheeks all week. <laughs> so I, I just eventually stopped wearing makeup. It, it stopped being a thing I wanted to do. And then I, um, was doing some theater and needed uh, an alternative. So I went looking to see if there were natural make makeups available that I could try and use and not, you know, suffer the red cheeks for a week. And sh I have since uh, found quite a few um, makeups that have, have become available. <laughs> and and some of them are more um, natural than others. Some of them actually use organic ingredients whenever possible. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's been, it's been uh, interesting, but they, they, of course, are all high-end makeup brands. They're not inexpensive. And um, so... Uh, so I haven't purchased a whole lot and when I do, you know, there's, I just haven't had a whole lot of it. And, um, so I'm like, well, I'd like to have another color choice. Like I had one lipstick I was using and I, I'd like another color choice. And so I ask the, uh, others who use makeup because, you know, they have gone through enthusiastic, obsessive times in their makeup purchasing and had more disposable cash than I did and bought up a whole bunch. And then they're just like, oh, yeah, we can we can help you find, you know, figure out what color you want to go with next. And they all bring out their makeup. And not only did they do help me to find decide on what colors um, I was going to look for when I purchased, they... Um, gave me, uh, lipsticks that they weren't using. And, <laughs> um, Joey's, uh, base foundation powder, uh, color is a great bron bronzer on me. So, <laughs> I, you know, just the difference in skin tone there. And uh, I found that useful. Um, <laughs> because Joey has decided she, she would, she's like, um, yeah, I, I'm not really into makeup. I'm not wearing it. And so, you know, anything here you want, take. Um, it's uh, not going to keep forever. <laughs> well, I don't know that this is turning into a ghost shape. It's, it's turning into something, though. <laughs> I was trying not to cut down on the fluff too much. This, I might give up on this and, and go to the cheesecloth method. Because uh, I know that one will work. This this was just, I don't know if it'll turn. It's not that I can't get a shape right. But I'm, I don't know. I had in my mind something fluffy uh, and billowy. And yeah, I think that that was a mistake. It probably needed to be layered up gradually and get there slowly right so these guys that it, that I've already got on there like that probably work out even if I just put cheesecloth over them but this one I think I clumped on too much too fast so we're gonna let the other guys set up and dry and we're gonna 
come back to the big fluff in a little bit. <laughs> okay, I pulled it apart and then I started putting it back on little by little. Um, and then I rigged up this, and I don't know if I can turn it. Um, this is parchment paper and um, just draped over something so that I could get the arms up. So hopefully those arms will dry up. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to get the organdy I have that is very wispy and um, cut some circles out of it and then glue that on top of the cotton once I've got the cotton kind of in a framework shape that I want. And that way I'll get the fluffy, wispy look, hopefully, that I wanted. This is where we're going to leave it for this week. Uh, and I guess I'll just keep experimenting. But um, I will um, see you on Friday with more from the Cardboard Dollhouse. Uh, I don't know exactly how far I'm going to get on that. I've already filmed some. Uh, and there's more that I want to do, but I don't know if I'm going to have time after I uh, accomplish the spooky season time sensitive projects. Um, <laughs> if you didn't see last week's, uh, last Friday's video, let's see, I had three videos last week and a two, there was a Monday had a pottery video. So go check them all out. Uh, I right now recalls just not working for me and I don't want to steer you wrong. Uh, so just go check out and see what's come out that you've missed. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful week and a delightful day and I will see you on Friday. Bye bye. Here's a little postscript. I got better at applying thin layers of cotton on so that they had more of a a balloon shape for the head of the ghost and then I did get a piece of organdy which is kind of like your really fine hankies and uh, saturated it with glue and then draped it and pinched it. Um, I also made the edge really ir irregular and drug my thumbnail across it before saturating it in glue. So we're getting somewhere with this one.